And now it's time for the Sea Lion Splash. Hey Maga Elementary School, this is Mr. Larson with a brief message about playground safety and having fun while on campus. I want you to know something that's very important. It's that you are able to enter and exit any game as you wish. You are able to take a risk and try something new. And you are entitled to having a safe and fun experience while at school. I've joined teams with a couple sea lion buddies to help you understand how you can have a safe and fun time here on campus while also knowing the rules and expectations of some of our more common games. Check it out. Structures. Pups Playground, Sea Lion Park, and Beachside are all fantastic playground structures for us to make new friends on. Now, it's important that we do not run on the structures, that we are making way for friends who want to play, and that we do not hide on structures. It's super important not to run up and down those structures because that's a safety issue. Let's be safe. No running on the playground. No hiding at the playground. But you can still have fun. Wait, make sure you walk on the playground. Make sure you wait for everybody goes up the ladder. Slides. It's important to know that slides are only for going down. If you want to enter onto the playground structures, make sure you're using the stairs or some of the cool ladders that are built into the sides. Remember, do not, do not climb up the slide. We only go down on the slides. Whee! Swings. Playing on the swings is super fun. Just remember, we count to 20 so that the next person can get off. And also, we make sure that we exit the swing with a controlled body. We're not going to jump off the swings. Make sure to count to 20 if you want a swing. Two. My friend there was warning another friend to watch out when you're walking behind the swings. Make sure you give yourself a lot of space when you're walking on the playground and there are people swinging on your side. Monkey bars. Monkey bars are a great way to practice your upper body strength. Just make sure that you're waiting in a single file line and that we're only going in one direction. Also, if you're on the bars, make sure you keep two hands on at all times. Buddy bench. It's a buddy bench. If you're feeling lonely or you need a friend, just sit right here and a buddy will come help you out. Rules and expectations. Here are some of our fifth grade leaders that would like to remind you of some of the rules and expectations whenever you're on the McGaw playground. Good sportsmanship is knowing and respecting the rules. Listening to the judge. Encouraging others. Winning gracefully. Being fair. Control your emotions. Scramble. Scramble is a fun game that you can play without any equipment. This is perfect for the morning. Now, all you need is a couple friends and some shared expectations and rules so you can have fun. The first thing you need to know is that four players start on the court. Now, in the big circle, you can have a few more. That's fine. The next thing you need to know is that the tagger starts in the front of the line and says this. One, two, three, scramble. One, two, three, scramble. The tagger must chase the players while keeping their own two feet on the lines on the court. The players, or runners, must avoid being tagged inside the court boundaries. It is important that when we tag, we're not being too forceful or hitting too hard. We just want to be gentle and tag. If all the runners are cornered in one square, then we start over. 
Handball. Handball is a really fun game that you can learn to play with a friend as soon as you get a playground ball. There's a lot of players that play this, so it's important that everyone knows the expectations and rules. The first thing you need to know is that the line must be formed outside of the line. Notice how these players are standing outside of that line? That helps to limit interference. The player that's serving the ball must hit the ball one time. That ball must bounce once, strike the wall, and bounce another time before the next player hits it. Couple things for you to know. Poppies are out. That's when the ball hits the, cor the edge between the concrete and the wall. And also, if you catch or throw the ball, you are also out. Here's another thing to know. If the ball hits the side wall on the first hit, or even if it hits the corner, then you're out. Next, if your serve is bad, you get to redo that. But if your first hit is bad, you're out. Lastly, if the opponent gets hit with the ball, that's a redo. If a random stranger gets in the way, that's also a redo. Make sure that if you are the first person standing in line ready to play, you need to keep your eyes on that ball because you're called the judge. If there's a call that needs to be made, people are going to ask you to help out. Thanks so much, students. Let's just remember those rules of sportsmanship when you're playing handball. There you have it, McGaw. If we can all abide by these playground rules and expectations and safety tips, then we're going to have a much, much better school community where people are feeling better, they're making more friends, and we're actually practicing kindness. Let's work together to make Maga the best place that it can be.